Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to 7 Days Podcast. I feel like I should upload this uh, yesterday on Thursday, but you know what? I'm gonna upload this today on Friday, October 21st, because... Mainly because um, yesterday I uploaded Smackdown Universe Mode. Uh, thank you guys for the support, by the way, on the Universe Mode videos. Um, I'm really, really working hard on it, more than I ever did. I actually am working on how I wanted to work on it in WWE 2K16. I just didn't have the right stuff in order for me to have or do what I'm doing now. So, thank you guys for the support. And... Stay tuned, man. I got videos. I got. I'm already working on. I already have fresh ideas, and I have a lot of things to do. And I'm just trying to get shit done. Now, I could have fell asleep last night or the night before, and then just not record because I was really exhausted after work. I was really tired. But I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna stay up, and I'm gonna finish this shit because I want to get this done. Now. If you have not checked out SmackDown, uh, then the link is in the description box below, right? So you can go watch that and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And leave a like on this video if you're watching it now. So thank you for watching this one and yet and my Universe Mode videos. And uh, I have set up a playlist for Universe Mode already, so don't have to worry about that one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Now, I don't know what to do. I have to use my money, uh, my pay, basically, for something else. But trust me, within the week of the game come out, I will get Xenoverse. I will get Xenoverse. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I might try to upload a lot of these uh, Xenoverse 1 videos this week. I don't know. It's just that I don't want to record while my PS4 is it's just on because it's it's loud and it's annoying in the background. I, I, I'm honestly gonna try to save for that PS Slim at this point because I feel like if I, I'm pretty sure the PS Slim won't be fucking bad as as the the current PS4 right now. That's just me, but um, regardless, there's a lot of shit to happen this week. Monday Night Raw with Goldberg, Paige getting suspended again, or maybe that was last week, I don't know. And, uh, Paige and Del Rio getting married? That legit happened, like, 73 hours ago. Like, three days ago, I think? I don't know. Around there. Now, when I first heard that, I'm like, what? And after I saw the video, I saw the clip, Paige went up to Del Rio, got on her knees. Del Rio was like, ah, oh, shit. Like, he's... He, stunned and yeah they're going at it now so honestly to me um it's like okay congrats that that that, that is in order congratulations that's one and two um hope y'all live a happy life and shit that's okay and number three uh i don't i just don't know it's like and i and i tweeted this it's funny how Paige is willing to marry Del Rio, but yet, when it was that one dude she was with in Total Divas, unless it's completely fake, I, I don't know, it, it could be a toss up, it's like 50-50 at this point, I don't know, but you know what I mean, on Total Divas, she was with that one dude, he wanted to marry her, and she, she accepted it out of pity. Because she felt like if I t if he told him no, then he would be sad and shit, you know? So, basically, yeah. Well, what I'm trying to say is, you're not wanting to, wear it to marry that one dude, but you're wanting to tell real now. It's a different story. I don't know. Maybe she loves him that much to a point where she wants to spend, spend her life with him forever. So, I don't know. But besides that, um... Congrats, Paige Del Rio. Um, I like honestly, and people are saying, "Oh, Paige is gonna quit or leave WWE." At this point, I honestly don't care. When it comes to her wrestling career, I don't give a fuck anymore. You know, like I said it last week, I put it in my fucking title in my raw review or my last uh, podcast. Like I, I just don't care. It's like, okay, she's injured. She failed a drug test again. Sixty days. 
So within those 60 days, I don't know if it's 60 working days or just 60, 60 days in general, she's gone for like, like, like what, two, less, less than two months now at this point. I don't know. But, um, uh, it's, it's a weird situation that she, that she, she finishes her first suspension. Then she gets suspended again. I don't know. Now, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get this out right now. Now, I'm enjoying this Eva Marie free TV, okay? Free Eva Marie TV. Meaning that she's not there. I don't see her on SmackDown. It's good. Now, I'm going to come out and explain myself why I hate Eva Marie. Or why am I saying the shit I say about her. Now, to me, um, when I first saw Eva Marie back in 2013, I gave her a chance. And that was when it was still that diva shit going on you know, years, uh, three years ago. And when I first saw him, like, shit, I was like, you guys, you know, I was like, holy shit, this woman is fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Like, you know, I would just be nice and then, you know, like her so much and she's pretty and all that. And, uh, like, when I went to school at the time, uh, in high school, my friends were like, yo, she's fucking garbage. What are you doing? I'm like, what? She, she won a tag team match. She, she wrote, I remember, I, I remember it was Total Divas versus non-Total Divas tag team match. And Eva Marie got the tag and she rolled up Tamina and she pinned her one, two, three. I'm like, what are you doing? She got to win. Why are you hating on her so much? You know, I was like, I was one of those people, not exactly where you would like you would fucking despise someone if they talk trash about someone you like, right? I was like, what do you mean? Like, she just won a fucking match. You know, she just started. You know, I'll give her a chance. But then that, but then uh, when I kept watching Total Divas on and on and on. It, may, it it slowly made me realize, look, why am I watching this? What's the point? It's the same shit every episode. Someone's having a drama, something that you don't like, you know, it, it's 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 the same inst it's the same thing going on every single episode. It, it's just that it switches with people. It's like Bree and Daniel or Bree with Nikki. Right or Brie and Summer Rae, one of those Natalian Summer Rae, or or fucking Paige and 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 someone, Eva Marie and the Bellas, fucking Eva Marie and her dad, Eva Marie and her family, Eva Marie and her fucking husband, fucking John Cena and Nikki Bella. Even though Cena and Daniel Bryan are the most funniest people, are the two funniest persons on that show. Everyone else sucks balls, alright, maybe Tyson Kidd was hilarious, Jim Neihart was hilarious too, but everyone else, just awful, but regardless, what I'm trying to say is, I was like those people at the beginning, where I would, I would just shower even Marie with so much love, but then I realized, look, it's all about wrestling now, it's not about looks anymore, alright, if I want to see someone about looks, I'll go watch a fucking, I don't know, some modeling type shit. I don't know. I'll go watch magazines, pictures of someone. I don't need to see you on WWE PG television to come out and show me what you have, even though you don't have any skills. All right. So I realized that, yeah, it's pointless at this point. It's like she's coming out. You know, taking off her robe and just giving us that I'm better than all of you. You know, I'm like fucking, I'm the queen of WWE. I, uh, you, know, you know, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to say, look, all right. I was like that at one point, shout out with so much love. But then I realized how awful she is. I saw a compilation on YouTube of Eva Marie fucking up many, many, many times times and that's when i'm like you know what i'm done i i i can't i really really can't i, I i'm just gonna relax all right i'm not i'm just not gonna waste my gallo time suppose that 
huh, like, you know, I just, I just can't. So now, all of a sudden, she's doing, uh, she's having a movie role. After her suspension is up, like, right? She's, she's, uh, doing something that has to do with the movie. She's in a movie role, right? That's why she dyed her hair black, all black, everything. Now, she posted something about being American and being all patriotic and shit. I'm like, okay. It may be nice, but this could be a, uh, like, you know, how to make yourself look good, a self-image type shit, you know? Or, like, I mean, I mean, it's been enough that I have to deal with Cena being patriotic and shit. I mean, I love Cena, but at the same time, when he gets patriotic, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Be serious. Not that serious. You know, let, at least let someone who actually been in a fucking war and not a character come out and be serious and say patriotic, not John Cena. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. But, um... I mean, yeah, I knew she, like, yeah, like I said, she's hot, I know, titties, no ass, all that shit. I, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, where's the wrestling at, though? Because we're tired of seeing the same old, same old slap, hair pull, hair toss, all this garbage of women's wrestling. And after NXT came through, and Charlotte and Natalia... Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Bailey, and every any other women there made me realize that the women can actually wrestle better than the dudes. Some of them, right? And the fact that even Marie's still doing this diva thing—that's what pisses me off. Because we're over that. We're done with that. No more belt. No more divas title belt. No more. So why are you still coming out here? In this di- in this diva format, I don't get it. Come out, I I know you've been training with Brian Kendrick, even though you barely learned shit, but still, you know, or be a valet or something. I don't know. Lana's supposed to fucking wrestle. She even wrestled at WrestleMania. She get, but uh, like you know, I'm just saying. So that's that's the main reason why. It's just that I'm over this diva thing. I'm over this looks, over wrestling skills. I'm over I'm over that. That's why I'm giving her so much shit. Basically. So besides that, uh, I already went through this thing with the with the women on Raw and Sasha Banks is boring. It's Charlotte's better than Sasha Banks. But SmackDown, you know, Carmella and Nikki Bella going at it. I like I really love it, you know. The fact that SmackDown, like, Becky Lynch is injured, but she's coming back within two to three weeks. And Alexa Bliss is just talking that much trash to a point where I think she's going to lose when Becky Lynch comes back. She's going to lose. Uh, Alexa Bliss is going to lose to Becky Lynch for the women's title. Uh, that's just me. That is just me. You know, I could be wrong. But, uh... You know, I mean, that's how it is. Someone talks trash about someone, and then they return, and then they get their ass kicked, and they lose. So, besides all that, yeah, that's basically my entire reason. Now, but uh, uh, what else? What else has happened on this week? I did not watch this on the ground again this week. I'm slacking on my wrestling. I don't know why. I'm just lazy. Uh, TNA, I did. I I pre-recorded this on Thursday before. So I'm just saying I didn't watch TNA yet. I'll probably do a review if anything. If I did a review, the link is in the description. If it's not, then I didn't do it. So ah, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on WWE 2K17 real quick. I love this game. All right, I love this game very much. It's pretty much what I said about last year with 2K16, and then the year before that with 2K15. But then I realized. Throughout the year that there's so many fucking problems that I can barely comprehend. Now, 2K17, there is some problems that really bothers me. Um, first of all, I mean, I guess they... I guess I took it the wrong way. Like, for example, the, the creative video with all those scenes, right? I legit thought um, it was basically in a... In a different way of a story designer when they have all these cutscenes and stuff. But I realize it's a fucking Titan Tron video. Hold on. Yeah, you know, it's just. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought it was a. 
entrance video. I thought it was a, a like a story designer way in a different way of a story designer in a in a different format. But nope, it's legit a Titantron entrance video maker. So I guess I took that wrong, but that's just me. Uh, besides that, uh, the, I'm pretty sure you guys watched SmackDown. If you did, uh, you guys noticed in Neville's entrance. I didn't bring it up in the video, but. It did bother me when I was recording. When Neville making his entrance, his fucking cape was glitching so hard, I didn't know what to do. By the way, Neville's entrance, his theme song is delayed as fuck. And, like, well, what's going on? His theme song comes after the freaking pyro. Like, three seconds after the pyro. Like, it's supposed to be like, then his theme song plays. No, it's, then his theme song plays. Like, whoa, whoa. no, man. This seems his theme song plays right when he's getting up to take off his fucking cape. I don't get it. And then the cape is glitching and it's fucking all over the place, all over the man's foot. Like, what? Yo, and, and luckily there's this patch coming out. I hope they fix that shit. And that's all there is to it. And also... The Cedar vs. Bowl thing, I'm still not used to it. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little bit used to it, but like, I'm still have to get used to like when you start the show in Universe mode, you if you back out, you legit go to the main menu. You do not go to any other uh, menu in Universe mode. You legit go to the main menu if you start a show. So yeah, <sighs> I I don't know. I honestly don't know. But regardless, thankfully, 2K Showcase is not there. This proves that 2K Showcase was the fucking problem for the past two years, in my opinion. Because if they didn't have all that time for 2K Showcase, Universe Mode last year, Universe Mode two years ago, wouldn't be so ass as it was. Like, I don't know. But, but we'll see how the year goes by. 2K18 comes through. Thankfully, they're going to ha have everything updated uh, in 2K18. They're going to have the brand split. They're going to have championships. They're going to have shit like that. I really hope, you know, that they add and, like, you can add a champion, another division. You know, Universe Mode, you have the, the, the major, the minor, the tag team, and the women's. You can, like, add, like, I don't know, like, a fucking cruiserweight or some shit. I wish you could do that. But, uh, you can't do that in 2K17, but hopefully they'll be able to do that in 2K18. I don't know. But overall, the game is good. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I mostly play, like, I'm doing it like how I used to do it last year, two years ago. I merely, I, I only play it because of Universe Mode. I don't play for no other reason. I don't play it. Just for playing it. I play it for Universe Mode. I don't play it for... Uh, just for having fun or... You know, shit like that. No. There's no point in me doing that. I have a reason now to play video games. If if it wasn't for me doing YouTube... I probably would have given up video games... Like, years ago. Like, I'll probably still be playing... Uh, the old school stuff. Not today's shit. Because there will be no point... It's like you're playing it, then you finish the game, then what? Your money's wasted, basically. So, yeah. So, that's that's just my take on it. But besides all that, Raw SmackDown. Raw, uh... Mm, ah, here's the thing. I want to say it's decent. It was decent on Raw. And no, not, no, I'm not, I'm not including the Goldberg part, no. Take that shit out. All right, just 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 trim it out. All right, from from the first hour to to the hour before Goldberg came out, Raw was a little bit decent. SmackDown was decent. It was basically a tie this week, so I'm not gonna do bragging rights. It's basically a tie. And SmackDown and, and last week I didn't feel like doing bragging rights because. I was tired. I was lazy. And also, I mean, it was SmackDown 1 again. You know, I mean, I I didn't really create this concept just to come out and be like, okay, SmackDown 1 next week. SmackDown 1 
next week, SmackDown won. Like, you know, no, I, I want to know how well the shows are. This proves that fucking Raw is so shitty. I swear, I can't. I just can't. But yeah, um, but like the thing is, for SmackDown, I enjoyed everything. For Raw, I only cared about one thing. Or maybe two and a half or three things, okay? Rollins, Jericho and Owens. When I see Jericho and Owens, I see gold. So I have to stop and watch and listen to every little shit that they say. Sparkle Crotch. Uh, I don't know about that one. Eh. But you know how it is. But, um, yeah, uh, the tag team sucks ass. Uh, oh, oh, wait, I just realized, I realized something here. Raw made the biggest mistakes they could to damage their fucking pay-per-view. They're giving away championship matches or that, that are made for Hell in a Cell, but they're not title. The Raw before Hell in the Cell. So Monday Night Raw will have the New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus, which will diminish the tag team match at Hell in the Cell, mainly because they want to see how Cesaro and Sheamus can uh, coexist in the tag team match. Let us see at the pay-per-view. Let's see how they're going to do it with the tag belts on the line. Or at least do it against different opponents. You don't need to freaking let them fight the people that they're going to fight at the pay-per-view. It's pointless. It's like whoever wins that match on Raw should be the tag team champions leaving after winning the match. Same thing for Rollins versus Owens versus Y2J. Why is that happening? Didn't Stephanie say that she needs Jericho and Owens to be on their top game for Raw and SmackDown to fight at Survivor Series to be the, to be the lead general of the locker room? Yet... They put them, yet yeah, Foley and Steph put them in a triple threat on the, in the main event of Raw next week. What logic does that even make at all? Could someone explain that to me? Could someone tell me that? Oh, no, 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 you can't say shit. That makes no sense. Hey, let's give you the fucking thing for free so you don't have to waste 25 or 20 minutes of your free time on a Sunday night to watch a B or C level pay-per-view. That's what Monday Night Raw is telling you right there. Hey, you, you can't wait till, you, till, till the pay-per-view? or right, watch it on Raw because you're going to get it for free. So, I don't know what to do. Should I not watch Raw? And then wait till Sunday, or watch Raw and don't watch paper, or and don't watch Hell in the Cell. What? Oh my God, the logic, the fucking logic. Uh, yeah. So that's my big, that's my big gripe with Raw. Uh, and Steph and sorry, uh, Sasha and Charlotte in the interview with Lita, and Lita trying to compare. All the past Hell in the Cell matches with Foley, Triple H, and the Six Man Armageddon, and, and the other Hell in the Cell matches that were devastating and shit, to this one. Hell in the Cell nowadays is nothing more but a PG steel cage. Yep, I said it. It's a PG steel cage. Where it just surrounds the area where Dana Brooke can't get inside. And M. Bailey too. Okay. It's just Sasha and Charlotte. Yes, I agree with this logic that the women needs to be in a match at the same level as the men. But at the same fucking time, I don't care. I've seen this match already. Putting a cell in it doesn't make it better. It just... Says, okay, they're going to damage each other more. And then, that's it. So, what do you guys think? Thank you for watching the 70s podcast. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to talk about. You know, uh, maybe I'll talk about it in a, in a separate video. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave your comments. What do you guys think about what happened in the past week? Uh, like I said, leave your comments below. Leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and I am out. See ya. Bye.